Okay, good morning, guys. So this is GE6114, Mathematics in the Modern World, Week 11, Simple and Compound Interest. Now, first, let us define what is simple interest. So simple interest it is an interest computed based on the original principal amount during the whole life of the investment. So is it is just um, calculating kung magkano yung tubo ng ininvest mo or yung inutang mo on a certain period of time. So may given uh, interest rate. So for example, babayaran mo for two years. So magkano yung interest rate all throughout that year. So in one year, for example, 3% yung increase or 4%. Depende. So that is simple interest. So dere-derecho kumbaga from start to finish ng life ng investment mo. So itong first na formula is equals to... Uh, this is a formula for the interest amount or the amount interest. So I is equals to P times R times T. Where P is the principal, yung I is the interest amount or the amount of interest, R is the rate, and T is the time. So isa-isahin natin yan. No? So pag sinabi natin interest amount, ito yung actual amount na tinubo ng pera mo. So for example, no, nag-invest ako sa isang company ng 5,000 pesos. Then, at the end of the year, naging 5,500. So, yung tubo na 500 pesos, that's the interest amount. So, this formula formula would show you the result kung ano yung actual amount na in-increase ng in-invest mo or inutang mo. For example, nangutang ka ng 2,000, tapos ang nabayaran mo for the whole year is 2,300. So, yung 300 would be the interest amount. So, ito yung purpose ng formula na ito. So, the principal amount, ito yung inutang or in-invest mo. Yung rate naman is yung interest rate kung gano ka laki yung tubo. So, dapat in terms of decimal to, in terms of decimal, so in decimal form. So, for example, uh, 3.6 interest rate. So, convert natin yan. Into decimal. So all we need to do is divide that to 100. So that is 0 0.036. So dapat yun yung gagamitin natin if we are using this formula or any formula involving interest. Okay? So in terms of decimal to. In decimal. Then ang time is in years. So kung naka-days yan, convert mo to into years. Okay? So, for example, uh, 343 days. So, divide mo siya into 365 days. Para maging years siya. Or kung months, uh, divide mo 12. So, on and so forth. So, that's the, that's the formula. Now, we have another formula na involved with simple interest. Uh, this one. So, ang kaibahan niya sa I is equals to PRT, P times R times T, is that ito, yung A na to is, ia-add mo yung in-invest mo, principal amount mo, plus the interest amount. So, for example, no, nag-invest ako ng 5,000, then at the end of the year, naging 5,500. Yung 5,500 is the A, yung total acquired amount. So, maga, ia-add up mo yung in-invest mo, plus yung tubo. That's it. Yun yung A. So, yan yung formula. A is equals to the principal amount times the quantity 1 plus rate times time. So, ang A dyan is total acquired amount. P is the principal amount. T is time in years. And R is interest rate. Okay? Now, let's have an example. Suppose you put 5 peso in the bank. Okay? The bank pays you 4% interest a year. So sa isang taon, babayaran ka ng 4%. 4% ng 5 peso ang ibabayad sa'yo every year. And this is credited to your account at the end of the year. So at the end of the year daw, babayaran ka ng 4% ng 5 peso. Ang question is, find the interest in the acquired amount. So, pag sinabi natin interest, yung I, yung interest amount or the amount of interest. Then, yung acquired amount is yung A. 
Okay? So, isa-isa natin yung isolve. So, let's start with the given muna. Ano yung mga given? So, P natin, yung principal amount natin is 5 peso. Yan. Okay? Kuha. Then, uh, the bank pays you 4% interest. So, that's the rate. So, that is 4%. So, divide mo yan by 100. That would be 0 0.04. Then, this is credited at the end of the year. So, yung time mo, so yung time dyan would be uh, kung ilang taon ba ang gustong mala gusto mong malaman na tubo ng 5 peso mo. So, at the end of the year, so 1. Okay? So, now, Let's solve for I muna, yung interest amount. So, I is equals to PRT. So, I, so yung principal natin is 5 times the rate of 0 0.04, okay, times the time which is 1 year. Yan, multiply mo yan lahat, yung I natin would be 0 0.20. So, tumubo ng 20 cents yung 5 peso mo after a year with 4% interest per year. Okay? So, kuha na natin si I. Now, next is A. Get the acquired or the acquired amount or the total amount. So, A, if you remember, sa previous slide, P is equals to the principal value times the quantity 1 times rate times time. Okay, so substitute lang ng value. So, ang principal natin is 5. So, 1 plus the rate natin is 0 0.04 multiplied by the time which is 1. That is 5. So, 0 0.04 times 1 is still 0 0.04. So, 1 plus 0 0.04. So, that would be 5 times 1.04 that would be equal to 5.20. Okay? Okay, so as you can see, yung 5 peso niya, investment niya, plus yung 20 cents. So therefore, napatunayan natin niya, yung A pala, yung acquired amount is just adding the principal value plus the, uh, the interest value. So that is, uh, yung in-invest natin is 5. 5 peso plus yung interest amount natin, which is this one, that is 0.20. So that is 5.20. So either of the two will do. Pwede ito na equation or ito. As lo kung itong gamitin mo, dapat may I ka. So unahin mo munang isolve ito. Okay. Any questions on this? Any questions or clarification? Okay, let's go with the second example. Natasha invested 200 or invest $250 in a building society account. At the end of the year, her account is credited 2% interest. So how much interest had her $250 earned in the year? Okay. So isa -isa natin yung given muna bago i-solve yung problem. So let's have this one. So, given. Ang principal amount natin, yung in-invest niya is $250. Then, at the end of the year, the account is credited 2% interest. So, yung rate natin is 2%. So, convert natin into decimal. So, that is 0 0.02. Dinivide lang natin yan ng 100, ah. 
So, how much is the interest or the interest amount kuha in the year? So, ang time natin is 1 pa rin. After 1 year, magkano ang kikita ng 250 if 2% yung interest. Now, yung required natin, yung inahanap natin is yung I lang. Interest lang eh. Okay? So, solving for I. So, I is equals to P times R times T. So, I natin. So, yung principal amount natin is $250 multiplied by 0 0.02 times 1. So, yung I natin would be 250 times 0.02 times 1. So, that is 5. So, yung $250 niya would earn $5 at the end of the year. So, after one year, magiging $255 yung invest niya sa Building Society account. Okay? Now, let's have another example. So, madali lang ito. So, John borrowed $3,000 for four years at 5% interest rate. How much interest is that? So, it means, no, si John daw nangutang ng $3,000. Binayaran niya yan for 4 years. So, at an interest of rate of 5%. So, you can see, yung ginawa niya, yung principal amount, which is $3,000, minultiply niya sa interest rate na 5%, which is 0 0.05 in decimal, times 4 years. Kasi 4 years yung binayaran. So, yung interest amount, or the amount of interest, will be 600 dollars. Uh, okay? So, ang total na babayaran niya at the end of 4 years, yung 3,000 plus yung interest na 600, which is 3,600. Pero on this, in this case, ang hinahanap lang niya is ano yung interest. Hindi niya hinahanap kung ano yung total na babayaran ni John at the end of 4 years. So, yun. 600 dollars lang yung answer. Okay? So, that's the interest. So, that would be $150 per year. Yan yung tubo ng babayaran niya. Okay. So, let's have another example. So, Sarah deposits 4,000 pesos at the bank. At an interest rate of 4,000, uh, 4.5% 4 per year. How much interest will she earn at the end of 3 years. Ayun. So isa-isahin natin yung given, no. So para mas maintindihan natin. So that would be what? Yung principal natin amount. So yung dineposit niya is 4,500. Then yung interest rate niya would be 4.5% per year. So, that would be 0 0.045. Then, how much will she earn at the end of 3 years? So, at the end of 3 years, magkano yung kikitain ng 4,000 peso deposit niya? So, ang time natin would be 3 years. So, ito yung ginawa niya. Minultiply niya yung tatlo. Ito dapat nakadesimal to. 0 0.045. So, kikita ng 540 pesos at the end of 3 years. Yung 4,000 na investment niya or deposit niya. Okay? So, yun lang yun. Kasi, how much interest lang daw? Yung question. How much interest? So, kukunin, kukunin lang yung interest amount or amount of interest. So, that is I is equal to P R T. So, yun lang yung ginawa niya. Okay? So, ganun kadali. So, any questions? Any questions, guys? Okay, so if none, let's go with the next example. So Raymond bought a car for 40,000 pesos. Okay, so 40,000 yung price ng car. So he took a 
20,000 20, peso na loan from the bank. <clears throat> from the bank. At an interest rate of 13% per year for a three-year period, what is the total amount, interest and loan, that he would have to pay the bank at the end of three years? So, magkano yung total na babayaran niya? So, let's identify muna yung mga given. Okay? So, yung given natin would be Yung principal natin would be 20,000. So wag kayong malito, ito yung price ng car, pero yung inutang niya is 20,000. Yun yung principal amount. Then yung interest rate is 13%. So that would be 0 0.13 in terms of decimal. Next is what is the total amount na babayaran niya at the at the end of 3 years. So yung time natin is 3 years. So, yung ginamit niya dito ay is equals to PRT. Okay? So, nakuha niya yung inter, uh, amount of interest. Then, after that, para makuha niya yung A, inad niya yung inad niya yung principal amount plus the interest amount, which is 7,800. So, yun. Yung inutang niya, ito, inad up lang niya sa 7,800 na tubo. So ang babayara, babayaran niya at the end of the year at, at the end of 3 years is 27,800. Pero pwede namang ito na lang ang gamitin. So A is equals to principal times 1 plus rate times time. So substitute lang natin so the same result pa rin yan. So P natin is 20,000. 1 plus the rate is 0 0.13 times 3 years. Okay. So A natin would be 20,000. So 0 0.13 times 3, that is 0 0.39 or 0 0.39. So this would equate to 1.39. So, ang A natin would be 27,800. So, using a calculator, we have the same result. So, ito diretso lang. Hindi na pinutol yung equation. Dere diretso lang. Okay? Kuha? Any questions? So if none, uh, let's proceed to the next example. So Shirley got a 1,200 loan, no, $1,200 na loan from the bank no, for two years niyang binayaran. She paid $90 in interest. What is the interest rate? So this is uh, interesting no? na na This is interesting no na problem. Now uh, let's go with the given. So ang inutang niya is 1200 so that would be the principal amount. Okay? Then, two years yung time niya. Okay? And from that, nakabayad siya ng $90 all throughout two years. So, yun yung interest. So, that is $90. So, ang required, yung hinahanap is yung interest rate, which is R. So given yung given yung i yung interest amount or amount of interest yung p which is the principal amount and time r yung missing so ang gagamitin natin formula is i is equals to prt okay so yung r yung missing so iswap ko yung prt ilalagay ko sa left side kasi gusto ko yung r nandito na side kasi yan yung kukunin ko then i dito so, ang gawin na lang is divide both sides by P times P. 
principal times time, principal amount times time. Para makancel out dito, and ang matira is R. So that would be I is equals to P times T. So substitute lang. Substitute lang natin. So that is rate. So ang I natin is 90. Divided by uh, 1,200 na P. Multiplied by time, which is 2. So ang rate natin. So 90 over 2,400. So ang rate natin would be 0 0.0375. Five. Or in terms of percentage, so ito, pag decimal naman, pag decimal to percentage, all you need to do is times 100 lang. So this is 3.75%. Yan yung interest rate. Okay. Any questions on this? Clarifications? Okay, none. Let's proceed to the next slide. Now, maturity value is the total amount of the borrower would need to repay a loan. So F is equals to P plus I. Since I is equals to PRT, then F is equals to P times the quantity one, uh, 1 plus RT. So it means, as you can see, no, if you remember, Yung A natin, the same ang formula nila. Ano lang yung kaibahan? Yung variable lang. Dito A, dito F. Ito, ginagamit ang variable A if ang nakalagay sa problem is invest. Invested, uh, deposited. Dito naman, pag loan. Borrowed. Yan yung gagawit, gagamitin mong uh, variable. Okay? So, yan lang yung kaibahan, variable, pero the same lang pa rin yung formula nila. Okay? So, now. Let's have this example. So, find the interest and the maturity value. So, as you can see here, ito yung interest. So, ito yung I, ito yung F, kasi nga, loan. Kung deposited yan, so, find the interest and the maturity value on the deposited 10,000 peso in the bank. So, loan A. So, F ang gamitin. So, on a loan, 10,000 pesos for 3 years with an interest rate of 10%. So, let's go with the given muna. So, ang given natin is, ang principal amount is uh, 10,000. Then, Ang time natin is 3 years. Then, ang interest rate natin is 3, uh, 10%. That is equals to 0 0.10. No, te, or 0 0.10 in terms of decimal. Okay? So, find the, inter uh, find the interest amount or amount of interest and maturity value, which is F. So, unay natin si I. So, that is PRT. So, yan yung ginawa niya. So, minultiply lang yung tatlo and he got 3,000. Okay? If you remember, this is also the same with A, the acquired value, no? P plus I, the principal, principal value plus the interest amount or the amount of interest. So, yung I niya dito, ito yung tinubo ng 10,000 for 3 years. Kung baga, yung babayaran niya in total at the end of 3 years is ito. 13,000. So, tumubo ng 3,000 yung utang niya. Okay? Any, yun lang yun. So, any questions? Clarifications?
Okay. So let's have a, like a one minute break. Okay. Now let's continue. So may dinatawag tayong ordinary interest. Ordinary interest. Okay. So computed on a... May dalawa tayong interest. No? Ordinary and exact interest. So what if yung given natin is hindi exact na in the years, so in terms of days. Okay. So. So, you know. What if days, no? So, pag sinabi natin ordinary interest, guys, uh, interest computed on the basis of 360 day per year. So, I is equals to P, di ba, T to? So, kumbaga, time yan. If ordinary interest yung binigay, ang T natin is the number of days divided by 360 for ordinary. But if for exact, ang days is 365. Okay? Okay, sorry. So, yan. Let's have this example instead, no? So, ordinary interest, OI. So, di ba, ang time niya is uh, number of days divided by 360. So, what if ang problem is, uh, lagyan natin o edit natin konti. So, find the ordinary interest and the maturity value on a loan of 10,000 pesos for three uh Ito, hindi na years, uh, change natin in two days. So, what if uh, 496 days with an interest rate of 10%. So, pag sinanay natin ordinary interest, so yung naka-days, divide mo lang ng 360 para makonvert mo into years. Pag ordinary, yan yung uh, i-divide natin, that is divided by 360 para makonvert mo into year, years. So, uh, what if uh, that's the case? No, so that is using a calculator, guys. So using a calculator, so that would be four four ninety six divided by three sixty. Oops, three sixty. So one point thirty seven or one point thirty eight. So one point 38. 1.38 years. So, yan yung ilalagay mo sa T. So, what if we change this to find the exact interest? So, ang time natin na natin for exact interest, so, days divided by 365. So, that is 496 divided by 365. So, that would be Yeah, wait lang. So that would be what? Mm. So change lang natin to, to 565, 365. So that is 135.136. Uh, 130, okay? So 1.36. So yun. Wait lang. 1.36. Oops. 1.36 years. So, kung iswap natin yan dito, so, yun. Mag-iba yung value dito. Okay? Sir, what if, sir, uh, nag-fall yung number of days na yun sa leap year? Is that possible? Okay, what if nag-fall siya sa leap year? Okay, so let's delete this, some of the, what if, erase natin to. So same pa rin. No? What if leap, leap year? What do you mean by leap year? 366 days. 
What if ganito yung question? Find the interest and maturity value on a loan of 10,000 for, for 496 days invested on 2012 with an interest of 10%. So, pag leap year, guys, pag leap year, pag leap year, ito ang gawin. So, ang time natin would be the number of days divided by 366. Paano malaman kung leap year? Ang only need to do is memorize yung 2012 kasi leap year yan. It's either you minus 4 or you add 4. Kung, kung gusto mo pa atras, malaman mo yung leap year. Yung previous na leap year would be 2008, then 2004. Then, mag-add ka ng 4 sa 2012 para malaman mo yung uh, next na leap year. This is 2016, then 2020, and the next leap year is 2024. Kuha. So, ito, invested on 2012. So, leap year siya. So, yung 496 na yan, days, i-divide mo sa 366. Okay? So, that is... I, I don't think it would make much difference, but let's see. So, that's uh, 1.35. Okay. 1.35. Yun lang yan. So that's the thing that you should remember. It's either simple or compound interest. Yan pa rin ang gamitin natin. Depende sa given, ha? Okay. Now, let's go with the next slide. So we're done with simple interest. Let's go with compound interest. So it is an interest computed based on the original principal value in the accumulated past interest. So... Ang kaibahan niya sa simple interest guys, di ba, as you can remember, yung sa simple interest, may number of years na period, kung baka life of investment, then we calculate the interest from start to finish. So, kung baga, sa isang taon, wala, hindi niya hinati into two, into three, into four, or whatsoever. So, kung baga, dere-derecho. So, yung interest na yun, Nangyari siya for the whole life of the investment. Yan yung kaibahan ng simple interest at saka compound interest. Kasi nga, yung sa compound interest is may tinatawag tayo na conversion period. So, hahatiin niya yung isang taon into multiple periods. So, it's either annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and monthly. So, yung M dyan is the conversion period. So, it's either annually, semi-annually, quarterly, monthly. Yan yung M. Hahatiin niya into parts yung one year. Ano yung formula to find the compound amount or yung acquired amount? So, kung baga, yung principal value plus the yung interest amount. Ano yung formula? So, A is equals to P times the quantity 1 plus R over M raised to TM. So, isa isayin natin kung ano yung mga parts na yan. So, ito yung formula. So, A dyan is the total acquired amount or the compound interest amount. Okay? Yung amount at the end of the term. T is the initial investment or principal amount. Then T is time in years. R is interest rate in decimal. And M is the number of times interest is compounded per unit time or the period. Okay, so annually, semi-annually, uh, quarterly. So may corresponding values yan. So balik tayo, no? Corresponding values yan. So yung annually, one. So, once a year lang. So, one time lang yang hinate. So, fra, from start to finish, no? so from zero days to 365 days, dere-derecho. While yung semi-annually naman, hinate niya sa dalawa every six months. So, may tubo sa six month and the 12 month. Next is quarterly, hinate niya into three months. So, every three months, merong changes sa interest. Okay? Uh, there is a compounding interest. Then, monthly, every month. So, ganun yan. Now, let's have an example. Suppose you put up uh, uh, 5 peso no, in the bank and the bank pays you 4% interest a year. But this time, it is credited. So it's either this word yung makita mo sa problem, credited or compounded to your account every quarter of the year. Find the compounded amount and the interest in one year. So kung compounded amount, ito yung A. Then yung interest is the I. Okay. So, isa-isain muna natin yung given. So, given. 
uh, ang given is, ang principal amount, yung ininvest natin sa bank is 5 peso. Then, yung rate natin would be 4% or 0 0.04 in decimal. Next is, but this is this time, it is credited and compounded. So, compound interest to your account every quarter. So, yung M natin, so quarter, quarterly. So, ang M natin is 4. Next is, five. I'm sorry. Next is, find the compounded amount and interest in one year. So, in one year, so ang time natin would be 1. So, one year lang yung kukunin natin na compounded amount at saka interest amount. So, ang required yung kukunin natin, yung missing na values would be na compounded amount which is A and the interest amount. Let's start with A. So, ang A, di ba, remember, uh, A is equals to P times the quantity 1 plus R over M raised to T times M. So, ang principal amount natin is 5. Then, ang rate natin is 0 0.04 divided by M, which is 4. Then, time natin is 1, 1 year, multiplied by M, which is 4. So, simplify natin yan. So, ang A natin would be 5 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 4 is 0 0.01. 1 times 4 is 4. So this is A is equals to 5 times 1.01 .01 raised to 4. So all you need to do sa calculator, erase to 4 nyo muna yung 1.01, .01, then you multiply by 5. So that would result to 5.203. Uha! So pakita natin sa calculator yan para kita nyo na. So that is 5 times 1.01 .01 raised to 4. So that is 5.203. Okay. Now, we're done with A. Let's go with the interest I. So I, you remember, yung A natin, para makuha natin si A, i-add natin yung principal plus the interest. So yung sa simple interest at compound interest, the same sila ng formula to get A. Okay? So, ang problema, I ang kukunin natin. So, ang formula to get the I is, transpose mo tong P dito, that is A minus P. So, ang A natin, which is this one, 5.203 minus yung principal natin, which is P, 5 peso. So, that is 0 0.203. Yan yung interest or amount of interest. Okay? Any questions? Any questions or clarifications? Gusto nyo i-clarify with the problem? What do you mean? Continue recording. Now, let's go with another example. So, you deposit or deposited $250 in a high-earning account paying 9% compound interest and leave it for three years. What will be the balance on the, e on the account at the end of the time? So, nag-deposit ka ng $250, then yung compound interest is 9%. Okay? Then, iiwan mo siya like, uh, papatulugin mo yung pera for 3 years. What will be the balance? Ano yung total balance mo? Anong mangyayari? Ano yung, magkano yung pera mo at the end of the time? Okay, which is 3 years. So, given natin, yung capital mo is 250. Then, yung rate mo is 0 0.09, which is, kinonvert ko to decimal. Then, compound interest. Then, ang time natin is 3 years. Ang problema natin, M. So, hindi binanggit kung annually, semi-annually, quarterly. Pag walang binanggit na ganun, automatic yung M is 1. Default by default. Okay? 
So now, what will be the balance? So ang gusto niyang kunin is yung A. Okay? So, A is equals to P times the quantity 1 R over M raised to TM. So substitute lang the values. So ang principal natin is 250. Then 1 plus yung rate natin is 0 0.09 divided by M, which is 1. Then ang time natin is 3. So, uh, ulit, 3 times yung M natin is 1. So that would be 250. So 0 0.09 Divide 1 is still 0 0.09 plus 1. That is 1.09 raised to 3. So this is uh, using a calculator. So that is uh, 323.76. So show natin. Uh. So that is 250 times uh, 1.09 raised. Uh, sorry. Raised to Ano yung naka-raise? Uh, 3. So yun, 323.76. Okay? So to get, uh, I think, hindi na kailangan i-get pa yung I kasi nga, what will be the balance? Kung baka yung total lang ang hinahanap, hindi yung interest amount. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions on this? Or clarifications? Naintindihan lahat? Okay, let's proceed. Let's have another example now. So find the interest and compound amount on a loan. So if you remember, if you remember, diba, gagamit tayo ng A if invest, invested or investment or deposited. F if loan or borrowed. Now, balik tayo sa slide. As you can see here, loan siya. So dapat ang gamitin natin in this Imbis ang gamitin natin, ang gamitin, na, imbis, ang gamitin natin A, ang gagamitin natin F. F, so P, uh, 1 plus R over M raised to TM. Yan yung gagamitin imbis A. Kasi nga, loan. Okay, so isa-sign muna natin yung given. No? So, find the interest. So, yung I, at saka yung compound amount, which is F, kasi nga, loan. Amount on a loan of 54,600. So, yung principal amount ng utang is 54,600. Then, yung time natin is 5 years and 6 months with an interest rate of 8% compounded quarterly. Okay? So, 5 years and 6 months. So, yung 5 years, okay na yan. Yung 6 months, convert natin into 1 year. So, that's 6 months divided by 12. So, that is 0.5. So, 0.5 years yan. So, 5.5 lahat. Wow. Then yung rate natin is 0 0.08, which is 8%. 8% divided by 100 para maliging decimal. Then yung M natin, yung M natin would be what? Compounded quarterly, so 4. So F, substitute natin dito, is equals to Yung principal natin is 54,600 times the quantity 1 plus yung R natin is 0 0.08 all over M natin is 4. Okay, raised to T times N. So yung T natin is 5.5 .5 multiplied by M which is 4. So yung M, F natin is 54,600. So that is point, uh, 0 0.08 divided by 4. That is uh, 0 0.02. So 5.5 .5 times 4. That is 22. 
So, ito na yun. Nakuha natin ito. So, na-shortcut lang niya. So, inisa-isa lang natin. So, ang final niya, yung F natin, yung babayaran niya at the end of 5 years and 6 months is 84,410.49. Okay? So, nakuha na natin si F. Yung I naman, if you remember, di ba? F is equals to what? Principal plus interest. Pero on this case, kukunin daw yung interest amount. So, sinapos uh, lang yung P sa kabila. So, kaya F minus P. So, yung F natin is 84,410.49 minus yung 54,600. So, to get the I, that is 84,410.49 minus 54,600, which is the principal amount. So, we got 29,810.49. Okay? So, let's resume. Now, let's have this example number four. So, napakadali lang, no? So, compound amount in interest. Find the compound amount in interest. So, ito, invested. So, anong gamitin natin? F or A sa compound amount? Anong gamitin natin? F or A? Invested, eh. A. Okay? So, find A at saka yung I. So, given natin is uh, principal amount that is 2,500. Then, your rate natin is 13%. So, that is 0.13. Then, compounded quarterly. So, ang M natin is 4 for 12 years. So, ang time natin or T natin is 12 years. So, find the compound amount. So, ang required natin is yung A at saka I. So, unahin natin si A. So, A is equals to principal times the quantity 1 R over M raised to T times M. So, A natin. So, yung principal natin would be 2,500. 1 plus yung R natin, yung rate natin is 0.13 all over 4 Raised to time natin is 12 multiplied by M, which is 4. So, simplify natin, guys. So, that is uh, 1,500. So, this is uh, 1 plus 0 0.0325, I guess. Then, 12 times 4 is 48. So, this is um, 2,500 times 1.0325 raised to 48. So, this would equate to, so let's use a calculator. So, that is 2,005, uh, sorry, 2,500, 2,500 times 1.0325 raised to 48, 11,605.47. So 11,605.47, yan yung A. How about yung I? So that is F, ah, sorry, A minus P. Kasi A ang gamit natin. So, ang A natin is 11,605.47 minus the principal amount, which is 2,5. So that would result to 9,105.47. So, nakuha natin yung kalawa. Okay? So, dali lang, no? So, let's have another example. So, the same pa rin, no? Find the compound amount. So, invested pa rin. So, A pa rin yung kukunin at saka A, uh, I. So, from that, given natin, ang principal natin is 3.7. Then, yung rate natin would be 0.12. Convert ko na agad. Compounded semi-annually. So, ang M natin is 2. 
Then, ang T natin is 5. So, ang required is, yung yan, hahanapin is A and I. So, yung acquired amount, yung compound amount, at saka interest. Now, let's start with A. So, that is uh, principal times 1 R over M raised to TM. So, A natin. So, yung principal amount natin is 3,700. 1 plus R natin is 0.12. Ang M natin is 2. Then, ang T natin is 5 years multiplied by M, which is 2. So, the, simplify natin. So, that is 0.12 divided 2. That is one uh, point zero six. 5 times 2 is 10. So, simplify natin more. That is 3,700 times uh, 1 plus 0 0.06. That is 1.06 raised to 10. And this would amount to 6,026.14. Let's check. So, 37 times 1.06. Raised to 10. So, 6626.14. So, tama. Yan yung A. So, 6626.14. While getting the I, the interest that is uh, A minus P. So, I natin. So, ang A natin is 6026.14. Minus, yung principal natin is just 3700. Okay, so ang I natin would be 2,926.14. Okay? So, kuha natin. So, napakadali lang. No? The... Sige. Let's continue. What is, what if yung interest rate yung kulang or yung missing? Ito yung formula. So, R is the interest rate equals to M, which is the period times the quantity A, A, which is the acquired amount divided by the principal amount raised to 1 over M, T. Ang M period, ang T is time in years minus 1. Okay? So, yan yung formula if ang interest rate ang missing sa compounded interest. Now, let's have this Example. So, wait lang ha. So, ito yung problem. What if yung rate ang missing? Like this one. So, Mrs. Jefferson purchased an antique statue for $450. Ten years later, she sold this statue for $750. If the statue is viewed as an investment, what is the annual rate did she earn? So, ito. So, isayin natin yung given. Now. So, isayin natin yung given. So, yung given natin, so si Mrs. Jefferson, binili niya yung statue for $450. So, yun yung capital, $450. Then, after 10 years, which is ang T, 10 years, she sold the statue, binenta niya for $750. So, ito yung acquired niya, A, $750. Ito yung kinita niya. So, if the statue is viewed as an investment, what is the annual rate? Annual. So, annually. So, ang M natin is 1. So, yung hinahanap natin, yung required, is yung rate. So, if you remember the formula, so, R is equals to M times the quantity A divided by P raised to the power of 1 over m times t minus 1. So, substitute lang yung m natin would be 1. Then, ang a natin is 750 divided by 450 raised to 1 over yung m natin is 1 multiplied by t, which is 10 years, minus 1. So, simplify natin. So, ito, no need na, no? I-multiply na natin siya dito. The same pa rin. So, pwede natin tanggalin si 1. So, focus tayo sa inside. So, that is uh, 750 
divide 450, uh, sorry, raised to 1 over 10. Kasi 1 times 10 is 10, minus 1. So that is uh, R. So this would be equal to uh, 1.052400979 minus 1. So pag nagsasolve tayo guys ng problem, wag muna nating i-round off until mag-arrive tayo sa final answer para very accurate yung answer natin. So, yung R natin would be 0 0.052409779. So, if we uh, round off this, uh, ito nang time magra-round off tayo to four decimal places. So, that is 0 0.0524. So, in terms of convert natin yan into percentage, so, we got 5.24%. So, ang R natin is 5.24%. So, balik tayo sa previous slide. So, ang answer is ito. 0.524 or 5.24%. So, tama. Tama yung pag-solve natin. Kuha? Any questions on this? If none, uh, let's proceed. So, how many years will it take for an investment to double in value if it turns 5% compounded annually? What if yung time naman yung missing? So, how many years daw na magdodoble yung investment mo? So, dito, hindi binigyan ng mga values yung problem. So, all we need to do is what? Maglilet tayo ng mga variables to substitute this ones. Substitute yung mga missing. So, yung P natin will be the investment. Then, ang na another given is when daw mag-double yung value ng investment, which is 2P. So, that is equal to A. Kasi, di ba, ito yung acquired amount. Yan yung gusto niya. Mag-double yung investment niya. Okay, so yung ibang given is, yung rate natin is 0 0.05. Then compounded annually, so ang M natin is 1. Okay, so let's solve this and let's go back with the original equation, which is uh, A is equal to the principal times the quantity 1 R over M raised to T times M. Kasi wala tayong formula for time. Now, gusto ko na in terms of P lahat, para ma-cancel out ko si P, okay, mamaya, kasi yung missing natin is T. How many years is? So, yung required natin is T. So, itong A, sa substitute ko, kasi ito nga, yung A is 2P. So, substitute lang. So, in terms of P na lahat, para ma-cancel out ko yan later. So, yung rate natin is 0 0.05. Divided by 1, then ang T natin is wala tayong value, yung M natin is 1. So that is 2P is equals to uh, P. So 0 0.05 divided by 1 is 0 0.05 plus 1, that is 1.05. T times 1 is T. So from that, pwede natin i-divide both sides by P para ang T na lang ang matira kasi yan yung kukunin natin. So that would equate to uh, 2 is equals to 1.05 raised to t. So balik tarin natin para yung t, yung missing, nandito sa left. So paano to isolve? So using the laws of logarithm, logarithms, or natural log, okay? I-equate natin to into log. Ilalog natin yung both, both sides. Okay? Basta yung, basta if yung variable mo is nakaray siya, 
para mababa mo siya or ma- ma- masol mo yung T, you use logarithms. So for this, this is log. I-enclose natin siya sa log. So based, naka-base 10 siya. Kasi ito, naka-exponential ito eh. Same sa kabila. Okay? So sa law of logarithms, pag na naka-raise dito, pwede mo siyang ibaba, ilagay mo siya dito sa gilid and then multiply mo siya sa log 1.05. So that is T times T times log 1.05 is equals to log 2. So now, we can solve for T. So divide that in both sides by log 1.05. Okay? Kuha nyo. So cancel, cancel. So ang T natin would be, so using a calculator, so... Use natin yung calculator. So, that is um, log 2 all over log 1.05. That is 14.21 years. So, balik is a slide. So, 14.2 or 14.21 years. So, balik tayo sa previous slide. So, ang answer dapat 14.2. Oops. Saan na yun? So, yan. 14.2 years. So, it would take, what? 14.2 years para yung investment mo mag-double if 5% compounded annually yung condition. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So when, next problem, when will the 30,000 peso earn interest of 15,000 if it is invested? So ilan na lang bang problem? Ah, last two na. So when will be the 30,000 peso na pera will earn interest of 15,000 if it is invested at the rate of 7.5 converted converted annually or compounded annually. Now, let's have this. Uh, let's uh, identify the given. So, ang given natin would be, ang principal amount natin would be 30,000. Ito yung in-invest. Then next is yung interest amount. So, magkaka-inter... Ang gusto niyang mayayari magkakaroon ng interest amount na 15,000. So, I is equals to 15,000. Okay? What? So, next is, it is invested at the rate. So, ang rate is 7.5. So, that is 0 0.075. Converted or compounded annually. So, ang M natin is 1. So, when daw, when, so kailan, so ang required natin would be the time again. So, balik tayo sa formula na naman. So, A is equals to uh, P times the quantity 1 R over M raised to T times M. So, ang A natin would be, so yung P natin so, wala tayong A. Tama? P and I ang, ang given. So, to get A, di ba, yung isang formula, you have to add principal plus the interest. So, ang A natin would be 30,000 plus 15,000. So, that would be 45,000. So, pwede na tayong mag-continue dito. So, ang A natin is 45,000 calls to the principal, which is 30,000. One plus the quantity, uh, times the quantity one plus, rate na then is 0 0.075, divided by, divided by M, which is one. Then time natin is wala. Then ang M natin is one. So 45,000. 30,000. So the same pa rin, no? So, 0 0.075 
So divide by 1, same pa rin. Then add by 1, so magiging uh, 1.075. Raise to t, kasi t, t times 1 is t. So para hindi tayo mahirapan mag-solve mamaya, so divide natin both sides by 30,000. Para ang matira, ito na lang. Itong naka-raise. So divide, divide mo yan. So that is 1.5 is equals to 1.075 raised to t. So pwedeng log, log ang gamitin, logarithm, or pwedeng calculator. So turuan ko kayo ng shortcut. So ito. Hmm. So can you see my calculator? Can you see my calculator? So, turuan ko kayo ng shortcut. So, gayahin lang natin yung equation. Okay, so that's 1.5 is equals to 1.075 raised to t. So, 1.5, using this kind of calculator, mas madali yung buhay. May tinatawag tayo na shift solve. Okay? So, next is alpha, then yung calc, c a LC, which is the equal sign. So, yun. Gagayahin natin yung formula or yung equation. Then, open parenthesis, 1.075, close, then raise to T. So, walang T dito. So, it's either X, Y, depende yan. So, X na lang gamitin natin. So, that's alpha, yung nasa taas ng del at taas ng 9, ito. Alpha, then ito. Then, from that, nagaya na natin yung equation. Sige, jari ka. Sige, ingat, ingat. So, after that, shift. Then, yung talk, shift solve. Solve for x, then equal sign. So, 5.61 years. So, five, uh, para maging 15,000, yung 30,000 niya, 5.61 years ang hintayin niya. So, ang time natin is 5.61 years. So, ganun lang yung shortcut sa calculator. Mm -mm. Now, let's have the next, uh, last example. So, present value defined as the principal P which is invested at a given time. P at a given interest rate. R, which, is, which will amount to F when F is due. Okay? So, paano ba yan? What if ang given is yung A, yung acquired amount, yung kikitain mo, or yung utang mo at the end of the term? So, baliktad. So, ito yung formula. So, P is the uh, principal amount equals to A, which is the acquired amount, times the quantity 1 plus R over M raised to negative T times M. So, ito yung example. So, find the present value of... So, find the present value meaning find the principal value of 42,000 due at the end of three years and nine months if money is invested at 5.6% compounded quarterly. So, what does it mean? So, yung 42,000, yan yung kinita ng ininvest niya after three years and nine months. So, yung problema, ano yung present value? Yan yung missing. So, yan yung formula. So, uh, let's have, let's have, uh, let's solve this. So, given muna, ang given natin is yung print, uh, yung, yung A natin, yung acquired amount would be 42,000. Then, ang time natin, si 3 years and 9 months, so convert natin yung 9 months to year, uh, years, that is 9 divided by 12, that is 0. 0.75. Then, add sa 3, that is 3.75. 75 years. So if money is invested as at 5.6 na rate, so that is 0 0.056, then compounded quarterly M is 4. So substitute mo lang sa formula, which is P is equals to A. So ang A natin is 42,000 times the quantity 1 plus yung R natin would be 0 0.056. Divided by M, which is 4. Then, ang time natin is 3 point... So, sorry. So, dapat negative, ha? negative TM. So, negative ang time. So, negative 3.75 times M, which is 4. 
So, simplify natin. So, that is uh, 1 plus 0 0.014. Dinivide natin yung 0 0.056. Then, negative 3.75 times 4, that is negative 15. So, ito na yun. That would result to 34,000 zero, uh, 34,094.16. Okay. So yan lang, yan, yan yung present value, yan yung ininvest niya for 3 years and 9 months na nag-result sa 42,000 na acquired among. Okay? And that ends our week 11 part 1.